Hey. Sip and serum with your grandma. Hit it on the green. So she feel it in the spleen. Now we know she on the team. Party at the country club. It's all me. Tore the head to head. It's fall asleep on elevators. Now there's money in the mattress. Money in the cabinets. Then it's still spicy, but you know I got to have it. Let me mutate. Got it working like magic. Falling like Jordan. Still gaining my tracks. Yeah. Waiting for the time. I get F3. See your grandma at the club. She get plenty. She be talking to the thugs. Trying to get me. G-A-C-C. Baby, I'm rapping. I be on the time clock. I'm a grandpa. I ain't tell time. Stop. Babe, I know you want to grind out. Meet me in the country club for a time. Man. Hey. We get wild. I won't touch it. Grandpa A's bitch, no stopping. Oh, hey. Check OS, don't sweat. Bitch, we verified. Now you know we up next day. We get wild. I won't touch it. Grandpa A's bitch, no stopping. Oh, hey. Check OS, don't sweat. Bitch, we verified. Now you know we up next day. Where did all my teeth go? Saw your grandma, nigga, straight through the people. Didn't know she could deep, though. No more caught up with the still low free code. She gon' make me miss bingo. Now I need to get sex for the trap before we go. But the money ain't staying no. on. We get tea smoking weed on the green. That's how we with your grandma. Hit it on the green. Cause she feel it in the spleen. Now we know she on the team. Party at the country club, saw me. Do all day at the haters. Fall asleep on elevators. On his Monday in the mattress. Many in the cabinets. Then I said I'm spicy, but you know I gotta have it. Let me mutate. Got it working like magic. Ballin' like Jordan. Still gaining my traction. Hey. Uh. Oh, it's been a minute since we heard that song. Yeah, we did. Look at that. That's like the anthem, like the actual anthem, if you ask me. That's it's, OG, yeah. Yeah, right? Like that takes me like way back. Back to when, I don't know, when I was screaming, I'll be on the time clock. I'm a grandpa, ape till time stops. Like you just can't help it, man. You got to sing that when it comes out. That's like. I don't know, to me, it's like the most recognizable thing. What's up, dude? Welcome to Monday Madness. What's crack like and what's crack like, man? A little te- technical difficulty there. It's definitely Monday, but we here, we vibing, we ready. I had a little bit of a cracky voice there, so please forgive me. I just had a little bit of a little tea, little tea, a little bit of talking today. You know, if you uh, anytime you're up there sitting doing something, you're always immediately like, talking a bunch and doing meetings next thing you know man you got no voice so i'm happy to be here though we made it to another monday madness it is the 16th of january man this year is gonna fly by i can already feel it i can all ready feel it can we're pretty excited halfway through january already you have no idea it's gonna be over in two weeks you know that right you know you know how i know this year is gonna fly by because I was at Walgreens today. If you guys know what that is, it's like a Publix or like a CVS or whatever. Not everybody has those. However, I was in there and I was walking to go get some Gatorades. And I walked right past this little aisle. And right over to the right, there was Valentine's stuff, dude. Oh, man. That's, no, I want nothing to do with that. Valentine's stuff. Do you, do you know what that means? Not only does it mean I'm not going to have a Valentine. There's one. <laughs> obvious second it means that january is almost over like that so that's kind of an amazing thing so it, it, and then guess what then it'll be march and you'll see march madness and all that happening and you'll super bowl in march madness to start and then bam we'll start getting into april and then summer comes after that so i mean this year already i'm just telling you just warning you, lie, you lie i actually heard that you got a valentine on saturday night but we'll get into that later but i know you got a valentine don't don't did i really me. oh <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm like why is he saying that what happened oh we had night out on the greens and okay so do you remember the whole Valentine thing? What was that about? Go ahead, drop some, drop the alpha. I I can't remember much. I can't remember as far as like who uh, proposed to you that evening, but I do remember you accepting, and then Prez uh, making fun of you for it later on. 
Hey man, I'm not I'm not even mad about it. If you guys did not show up on Saturday, that was one of the greatest things ever. We had over 220 people shuffle through this space in about three and a half hours. It was pretty amazing. It was a great success. Night out on the greens. Our first, well, I wouldn't call it even a mega space. I considered it a family space, right? So in that, what we did is we wanted to make sure that everybody felt comfortable, that we brought along our sister projects. We had a few of them that slept in. We had a few of them that will make it next time. Not even worried about it because we had a packed crowd. Here's the thing that people don't understand. Like, we had people in there that were double and triple booked at each one of these little events. And I'll tell you, to have the action-packed lineup that we had that night with all of the different people in there once. I mean, think about it. You had Violetta, Sammy, Taylor Alexander, all in one room at one time. And to even have, like, like it takes a lot to get Violetta to come and just, like, hang out and vibe. She just kept coming back, right? That she's a star in what she does. So it was really great to hear that. I mean, we had people singing all over the place. We had vibes going. It was like there was a fire in the middle, and everybody was just kind of sharing what was going on. And I enjoyed the heck out of it. It was awesome. It really was. And had had a ton of great feedback. Had a lot of people that, that went back and listened to it after the fact, so they missed it. Or they caught like the first hour, an hour and a half. They went back later. And they listened to it and they enjoyed the heck out of it. So I tell you what, it was an amazing night. Night out on the greens. For the first time we we put that together, it could not have gone better. It was amazing. So really excited about it. It was good. I mean, dude, you were talking about it. How did you describe it? Oh, I just thought it was epic, man. I thought you and Cat and Cole crushed it. You guys just absolutely did an amazing job. The family vibe was amazing. Having all the family there at one time, just, you know, it was, yeah, it was great. But the the lineup, the music was just stellar, dude. I've heard Violetta. Obviously, you know how I feel about her. She's amazing. She's incredible. Sammy, too. But Taylor, with Taylor Alexander, I that was the first for me, and I was like, man, that boy can sing and beatbox, bro, and beatbox. Did you catch that? He was yeah, beatboxing it, it's so good, bro. I'm telling. You. And here's the cool thing: is that like for people like that, he he had like his whole family getting excited about him being on Spaces, and he was able to debut like his live act kind of thing for those folks in front of a live audience. And we had a massive audience in there. So it was great. I I think, you know, it'll just grow from here. Super, super fun vibe. I think that everybody really enjoyed it. And it really didn't have that chilly um, crunch, cringe, don't want to listen to kind of vibe. It was a lot of fun. And we mixed it up with the different songs, too. So that was kind of cool, too. So having different people inside that would be nice. I- I'll tell you right now, we have talked to a few others. So we'll be having next month a couple of, you know, maybe some of the same guests, some maybe some new ones. But I know there will be some new singers in there. That'll be awesome. I know there's a couple we invited that couldn't make it last time that said they would make it this time for sure. So we definitely are excited to have them in the room when that happens. So a lot of favorites that you may have already heard or have not heard will be showing up to that night out on the green so if you haven't checked it out check out the replay it is out there as a matter of fact um here let me do this copy link to tweet and let me put that bad boy right over here and boom so there it is there's the replay inside the greens if you would like to take a look at that And if you haven't had a chance, it is a four-hour space. And right there, you can see 251 people have tuned in on it. There was 220 that night. So there's about 30 or so that have listened since then. So that's pretty awesome. Great time. Good stuff. And you know what's even crazier than that is our boy, John Quavius, who was a part of that. Me and him talked for a long time after that. He got a lot of different connections from there. So he's going to help get that that decentric DJs going. He does a great job with that poker. And a lot of these people want to have a poker outlet. So he's a great way to get that kind of set up and kind of make those connections. So we talked afterwards and he's really excited about it. He said he won't ever miss another one of our spaces like that. He enjoyed the heck out of it. I saw him this morning, even on Java and James this morning, hanging out and he was throwing, throwing up some hearts and some love in there too. So shout out decentric DJs. 
they they are really excited about what happened to them. They got a lot of connections. They thought it was amazing. What they literally said the best space they've ever been a part of, mega space or the like. And they've been to a lot of different spaces trying to push that project. So we've got something going on. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome how things have been working out. So pretty good, man. Make sure that you're checking out that that space if you do get in there. Also, Decentral Degens does have the cash games open. And now it's easier. That's right. Easier to be able to get into those cash games. You can use Zelle, credit card, Venmo, Cash App, you name it. It was a pain in the butt to be able to put stuff on there earlier when I got in. And I am also, I will die on the sword right here because I have not played enough of the cash games. I've got about 200 and change in there just waiting to play. I just haven't pulled up and I need to get in there and hit the button, get involved with that because I know every time I play and we get big hands, part of that rate comes back to GAC. So it's important I get in there and, and hey, I might be able to win something. I mean, I've won enough to be able to buy a grandpa before in there. So, you know, hey, if you do like poker, Decentra DJs is the place to be. And they've got it all set up. We were, you know, definitely, definitely very lucky to be partnered with them. And we're the first partners with them. So pretty awesome stuff. Shout out to the Decentra DJs for that. So that's pretty cool. Awesome there. So next, let's see here, man. We've been talking about the GP rework. It looks like the bot has been finalized or is in the final stages. So this will go Wednesday live. So it will be live on Wednesday. What we're going to do is midday Wednesday, we'll put a pinned message in the GP redeem that shows how you redeem anything that's on that redeem list. So the list has been updated on the green so you can see that in prizes. Once you pop it up, it shows all the prizes. And then on Wednesday, you'll be able to go in there and actually redeem. So you'll use the bot. We got special commands for that. We'll post up the commands and pin those to that room so that you'll be able to see them in the pin. And then you'll be able to go in there, hit that, and it'll immediately deduct whatever GP that you were spending on those things. And then you will be able to get, it'll send me a ping. So depending on what it is, you know, I might need to get your physical address or so for some things, I might just need to get the PFP that you want because some of those are for custom items like PFPs, custom, you know, different things. So if there if there is one like that, I'll open up a ticket with you. I'll get that set up and then we'll get one ordered and then that'll go right out to you from there. Some of that, like the custom PFPs, the custom mugs, all of that will come from the GAC Pro Shop. We'll design it in-house have it sent out from them. So you won't have to do anything from there. But uh, some of these other things we have just in-house and already ordered, like the Yetis, the tumblers, the keychains, the pop sockets. And again, once they're gone, they're gone because some of this stuff, again, we ordered in bulk. And then when we get the next one, it'll be a different color, maybe a different design, or maybe it'll just be completely gone. And we'll put something else in place of that because we have a lot of things that we're still waiting on to come in. And so this is all great stuff. It's all stuff you cannot buy inside the GAC Pro Shop. So again, that will go live on Wednesday. So you'll see that at around noon. So if there's anything you wanted to pick up from the GP, and a lot of people will be getting massive amounts of GP. So they'll be able to immediately get things, and that'll be pretty awesome for them. And that'll just be one more way for you to be able to use that GP in the utility inside the Discord. So really excited about that. Shout out Cartoon, who worked out really hard on the bot. Shout out to Dark, who did get that media posted up there. And this is, I mean, this will be really cool. It'll be a lot of fun. And I think everybody's going to be able to, they'll find something. Everybody's going to have something they want to get. And you'll be able to get it for you. So on that, the way it's going to work is anytime throughout the week, as you order things, all those orders will be tallied and packaged up on Thursday nights and they'll be shipped out on Friday mornings. So if you order something throughout the week, it'll go out on Friday. So that that'll be the constant ship time for those GP items. So if you have, if you claim something on Wednesday or Thursday, then it'll go out on Friday. As long as it goes out before it's been packaged. Now, if it's Thursday night late, you might see that come the next week just because of all those are going to be packaged up at a certain time and then sent out. So if you put in on Monday, just expect that it won't go out till that Friday. So great stuff. Real excited about it. I know I've got some grandpa points to spend. 
dude, you need to like save some grab points and hit some parlays, bro. I'm just telling you right now. Yeah, I definitely need some more, especially you're going to be able to start buying things like the Tumblr, the Yetis, like and like you said, once some of these items are gone, we're not going to we're not going to reorder them or if we do, there's definitely going to be changes to them. So, I think it's exciting. I think that to be able to use your grandpa points to get awesome items like you know whether it's custom or not you know it's just great yeah well yeah i mean and maybe you have the green tumblers and after we sell out of those maybe they're a different color with something different on them which would be really awesome so we're gonna make sure we keep it fresh and so as they sell out we'll we'll delete those things off there put something in its place so that way you guys do have that i know lopez was talking about things like golf balls and tees and all that it's all on the list, and we're all working on making sure that stuff comes, so that'll be pretty cool, too. So, good stuff to come from that. Speaking of Grandpa Points, make sure you are keeping up with your daily streak multiplier. I am now at 16. 16 GP per day just for showing up. And I'll tell you right now who's got some daily envy right now. Studio Dark. Studio Dark missed a day. And he, I know he said, and he went back to five GP. He was, I was, I was trying to keep up with him. I was trying to be like, he, he was a day ahead of me. And I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to catch him. I'm going to catch him. And I caught him today because he missed it for one day. And he went back to five. So don't miss your daily streak multiplier. Make sure you get your daily. Oh, look, see, he's crying in the greens right now. He's so sad. So, oh, and I did, uh, their suggestions did say, hey, also, Make sure that you do your daily on your grandpa rumbles too. I need to start reminding you guys to do that too. So if you're not doing your daily on your grandpa points, go do it on your grandpa rumbles as well, because you do get extra gold coins from them that you can use to raise a little bit of hell on Sunday nights. So pretty cool. Check it out. Make sure you go hit your dailies. Look, everybody's in there jumping in and get your dailies right now. I'm telling you, it's kind of funny because, hey, but you know what? It's the positive thing because you'd have been mad if you'd have missed it. Look at all the people putting their dailies in. Yeah, see, look, see, Jake, Jake missed his yesterday. Look, you can see it right there. It's just such a sad thing because you're sitting there busting your hump trying to get it done. Who's got 17? Kate Koru's getting 17 a day. I thought I was cool with 16. I'm trying to figure out who's got more. I think Kekoru gets 17. Show Your Bros getting 17 a day. That might be the lead. I think Ozzy Agent, Jabba gets 17. There's a few people that are getting 17 a day. I think that's the max you can get right now. So I'm one day behind. So, hey, Dante, you got some. Hey, you got some stuff. Oh, Corner Man gets 18. Oh, okay. Oh, look, Cartoon's got 18. Wow. Okay, so I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Good job, Cartoon, for making me see that. Man, 18 GP a day just for coming and hanging out with us grandpas? What's crazy? That's that's crazy talk. Crazy. You said the total at the end of the month is like 600 and something, yeah? Yeah, it's Dude. like 620 extra just from that. That's three raffles. That's some some prizes. That's awesome. Telling you, I think it's amazing. I think it's a pretty good idea that you get in there and check that out. That can get you into all kinds of stuff. Here's the thing that I've been noticing. The people that go and get in the the squares that Shorky in progress and the Greenskeepers have been running, they get a lot of GP. They they when they win, they don't get like just a few. They're getting 2000 Four thousand. Somebody got four thousand last night. I mean, these guys are getting some serious GP. So I'm literally, they could take that and get a gag. Like if they got fifty thousand, get a gag, right? They could take that, get max. They could take that and get custom stuff. Like they could really deck themselves up big time if they wanted to. So really pumped up about those. If you're looking for a way to get some GP, go try the squares, guys. That is a one of the easiest. All luck, no skill having, fun way to get your GP is to get it through that. So, all right. We did indeed have an announcement that we went over, and I'm pretty sure everybody has read it. There's actually a lot of activity on it, up to 74. And we talked about what we were doing this last week. 
and what was going on and, and our address to the members lounge and a lot of the suggestions, which again, we appreciate very healthy conversations. Just the way we engage these conversations is not always healthy. We have to make sure that we do treat everybody with respect and, you know, understand the grandpa way is paramount for as we do that. As we talked about it, though, we do want to make sure that we are talking about how we get your voice heard. So we're going to be having some voting mechanisms coming up. And, of course, the first thing we talked about was getting that kitten vote out there. So that's going to be something you're going to see this weekend, if not by Monday, because we do have an executive committee meeting coming up. We did indeed start today, though, with the question and answers that were very informal. I said we were going to have some Discord Hangout questions. We started right away. So we jumped in the Discord Hangout Q&A today. We posted it in the greens and uh, actually had quite a few people show up in there. Start off with uh, just Shorty, Deep, Cartoon, and myself talking. And then uh, Bored Italian showed up and so did Chris Ahumada. So we were in there just... Just shooting the, you know, just shooting ideas back and forth. Talk about what works in the uh, Web three space and what doesn't. It was great, and uh, it was good to see to hear everybody's perspectives and everybody's ideas. And Cartoon captured a bunch of those. And every time we hear that kind of stuff, we're putting it on the Trello board, so that way we've got stuff to kind of look forward to and kind of move it as we're doing that. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at the announcement, take a look. We are going to be looking at ways to expand the ideas and. Make sure that we're expanding the idea of how GAC is, you know, the, the brand itself has got great recognition, but making sure we're seeing more people out there with that. And it's actually working. I don't know if you guys saw it today, but one of the things we talked about on there is retweeting the bananas at a hashtag GAC and Mac. And I just saw inside the greens, everybody's trying to get on the top of the leaderboard. I was definitely getting after the leaderboard today. I was actually on the uh, Oh, Hey, I'm number one up there. Hey, let's go. That's right. Every day I get up, I make sure I do spend some time every day to tweet and get that out there. We had, last I checked, let me check it again, almost 860, almost 900 GAC tweets today, which is a big number compared to what we've been averaging. We've been averaging between three and 500, and 610 tends to be kind of the wall we hit, the resistance, if you will. And we blew right past that today, almost to a thousand tweets today. So if you guys can absolutely think about, hey, you know what? It's a good idea to try to retweet what's going on out there. If you see something in the Grandpa Ape Country Club, then you know what? It is important that you go ahead and make that retweet, make that PFP picture up there. Shout out to hashtag Gak to Mac. You know, make sure that you shout out, you know, whatever you'd like about it. I know I posted something about the contests we have. I've posted things about all kinds of different things lately, just trying to get people going. So I think it's pretty big to to kind of make that go. So that's all been kind of a culmination of everything that we've kind of been worked on this week, and it'll be continue to work that way. So we'll be getting some committees together to, to back up all of our ideas and we even have some resources to go behind those to make sure if there's something that we need to be acted on, we can act on it. I know Shorty was talking a bit today about, you know, a great idea. And we've talked about it before about putting on another GAC poker tournament where we might have some, you know, bigger prizes at the end of that. Something that, you know, might work for an IRL poker player that we could possibly get some, some exposure from. That was a great idea. There's a lot of ideas that we have out there that uh, could, in, you know, indeed work. You know, Board Italian was talking about a couple of good ideas. Chris Ahumada gave his feedback in there. And we'll have some more of those kind of, you know, just more informal, chill, kind of kickback, kind of little idea brainstorm sessions so everybody can kind of see, you know, that, you know, we're out there paying attention and you're kind of listening and getting your ideas and you know, letting you guys ask questions and say whatever. And it was real cool, real fun. It was a good time. So, Good stuff happening from the announcement. If you haven't had a chance to take it, take a look. Please take a look. Dude, you were saying hearts. Did you have something you want to say? No, I was just saying, yeah, great job with that. All the, you know, all you, Cartoon, Dark, and I uh, swear you really put in a lot of work on that and what we got going on here. And I just, yeah, I mean, I personally have been away, as you know, I've been absent. And, uh, yeah, I'm just in awe on what you guys continue to do. And, yeah, good job. Love it. That's the greatest thing is we're out here always trying to get keep moving forward. Use Kaizen where you get up and try to make thing 1% better every single day because it all matters. 
So it's pretty good. Shout out Kekoru, who has been killing the Twitter game out there. And Hikaru, too. So those guys are all about that Twitter game. They've been doing it like you have nobody's business out there. It's been a great day of tweets. And there's been some really some solid ones out there. So if you haven't had a chance to go through and hashtag GACC retweet. And here's what I've been doing, guys. I'm telling you. Like, retweet, and comment on there. Put hashtag GAC. Like, retweet, and comment. It's not just enough to like and retweet. When you put that comment on there, it increases the engagement. And it, and it shows more people what's going on with it. So if you see them posting up something about, I don't know, the contest, hey, support the contest. Talk about it. See how cool it is, right? If you see them posting up a PFP, well, post yours up there, your favorite one. I don't know if you noticed, but PFPs were actually trending today on, on Twitter. So if you had a second, you could have seen that. And you would have seen that, hey, if you were to put hashtag PFP, people were enjoying that. So it was pretty cool. It was pretty awesome to see. Keep that up. If we can get to a thousand GAC tweets a day, that's a massive amount of people that would see, you know, the GAC name, see the PFP, see how, you know, we might, they might like something we're doing with the background. So maybe they just like the coffee cups. Maybe they just like the art or maybe they just like the fact they're seeing it everywhere. So it's really, really, really important that we keep that up. It's a really, really positive thing to see it. So I appreciate everybody out there. And thank you to everybody who's going along with me as we're out there just tweeting together. Because I'm tweeting up a storm. I'm retweeting and tweeting. Tweeting again. If I find your tweet, I'm tweeting it and retweeting it. And I'm commenting on it. I don't just look at it and go, oh, yeah, okay, like and retweet. No, I like, I retweet. I put a PFP on there. I say, Gak. I say, at Grandpa Ace. I do something to make sure that you know, bam. I'm trying to highlight that for you. So pretty, pretty neat. So make sure you're doing that stuff, guys. It's a big deal. Really, it's a big deal. All right, we've also, if you checked out the short game, the short game is working on doing the favorite traits. So we've been got a trait survey in there. So we need to select a handful of traits to start with for the trait teams. We don't want to do them all because we just don't want to be scatterbrained. We want to concentrate our efforts into the best ones there is. So if you have not checked out short game, please go take a look right now and take a look at the short game up on the left side top of the Discord. And you just go ahead and fill out the trait team survey so we can figure out what's the best traits to start with. And everybody can kind of get their idea in there. We're trying to get your feedback in a bunch of different ways. And this is another way to make it fun for us. I don't know if you noticed, but since we've been kind of focusing on traits the last couple of weeks, man, it gets tough to find some of the good stuff out there. I know this. If you are trying to find a cat head, you're trying to find, I don't know, a cardinal head, they're getting tougher to find. If you're trying to find a laser eye, they're getting tougher to find. So this is really a great idea. Make sure you're checking out the trait teams. We want to make sure that we can serve you guys better by getting your feedback from those kind of things. So take a look in the short game, and there's a Google form. And all you got to do is fill it out. All right. Yak Yoga is still happening. Our yogi just got sick, so she will not be in tomorrow. However, we will get that going, poor thing. So she is in Hawaii, and I don't know if it's jet lag or what, but she reported back she has been throwing up all day long. Please forgive me, vomiting all day long. And so we were supposed to connect today, but we're going to have to put that on hold for a second. But that's okay. She will be back. We'll make sure. And uh, she's got an Instagram I'm going to be posting up this week so you guys can start to follow her and get all of that. So It'll be pretty good to see her. Unfortunately, I just got a million things going on at one time. But that's okay because when Wednesday, we are going to go live with the GP Redeem Room. And we aren't done. Andre MBZ had that GAC Lotto suggestion that we've been working on for over a month now. And that is a son of a gun to get going. It was quite a endeavor for Cartoon. And the way he put it together is really neat. So... We are going to start the GAC Lotto next Monday. And what that means is we are going to be able to spend GP to get into the Lotto. And then the Lotto is going to start with 0.1 ETH inside of it. Maybe a couple merch items. And you'll be able to put in some GP to win that. Now, it's just like any other Lotto game out there. If nobody wins the drawing, 
that point one each rolls over to the next drawing, right? And the way that cartoon has this set up, it is not nearly as tough as the real lotto, which is like 300 billion quadrillion to one. This is more like in the hundreds to one since, you know, we've got people around. So, so don't get me wrong. There will be a hundred percent winners here and there, but there may not be winners every time. So just understand that. So if it doesn't win, it's going to roll over. Now, just imagine if we have this, you know, weekly and we're doing this and it goes, I don't know, five, 10 draws without a winner. Think about that. You would have that going five to 10 weeks at point one. You might have a lottery that's at point five or point one, right? And if it's point one, just think about the entire space would be out there going, wait, how do I get GP? How do I get on this lottery? Wait, Gak has what? How much is in their lottery right now? Bro, they're at 1.5 in their lottery right now. You're like, wait, how do I get in there? You got to have GP. You got to have GP to play it, right? So this is going to be a lot of fun. I, I don't know how often it's going to hit. It's completely a, 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 a based on stats and based on randoms and based on the way that, that we put it together. So there's an actual ratio just like the lottery and there's odds involved. So we're going to make sure that you guys have a lot of fun with this. It's going to be pretty neat and it will go live on Monday. So not only will you have your raffle that you'll be able to enter on Monday, you'll also have the GAC Lotto that will start. And once the GAC Lotto starts, it won't stop. So, I mean, it would be pretty amazing to see this at like, I don't know, two, three E's because nobody won it in a while. Like, just like, you know, like, just like the lotto. I mean, wouldn't that be crazy, dude? I yeah, mean, that would come be on. nuts. Yeah, that would be nuts. The potential of it rolling over seven times and it being a big jackpot at the end. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, that is going to be exciting. A hundred percent exciting. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. I, I'm looking like completely forward to getting in the lotto, getting in the raffle, getting into all of these things and getting a chance to win some ETH. That'll be fun. And, hey, there's going to be other things that are involved with the lotto. So, you know, hey, you might be a little bit of merch items, that kind of stuff. Never know. So make sure that you are taking a look at your dailies. That's why they're so important. You want to make sure that when you get inside there, that you get your daily every day. That's 600 plus GP every month. And if you think about it, you got two raffles. You could probably do two raffles and even a parlay. Get yourself a lottery in there. And then if you were to win a parlay or you win a squares game, you re up with a thousand more, and then it just the cycle continues. Hey, and then maybe you show up to a grandpa rumble like there was on Sunday, where we had eight or nine, I think even 10 grandpa rumbles back to back to back to back to back. And we had people winning massive amounts of GP in there. We actually had K Koru, I don't know what he was doing, but he won like I, I lost count. The dude won like five times, maybe. It's Six times. I don't know. It was a bunch. It was so much that he was giving away gifts and still collecting the GP. So he collected a bunch of GP and it was awesome. So we had quite a few people in there. So, hey, there's so many ways to collect GP. Post yourself a good tweet. You can get it that way. Check your daily. You can get it that way. Buy a Mac or a GAC and get it that way. Hey, if you buy a Mac or a GAC in there, you know, a trait of the week, like last week it was members only jackets. You can get them that way. Glad you made it safe. Good to see you, Lopez. Good to see you over there, buddy. Is that a Marriott? I live there. I love those. Those are my favorite. I'll be in those tomorrow. Gotta love that. However, make sure that you are getting involved with everything GP because that GP is going to start paying you ETH with this lotto. How fun is that? Again, Shout out Andre MBZ for the good idea. And we are just – also Squatch, too, because he was the one saying, hey, we should add some ETH to that. So we kind of rolled them both together, and boom, we got us a real lottery. So pretty excited about that. All right. Man, we're going through all – we got all kinds of stuff going on, man. This is, this is bigger than I think. 
this this agenda's got quite a bit on it. So, okay. <laughs> but this particular one that we're going into, I can't believe we're already back full circle around to this again, man. Like that's nuts. No, you're right. The Super Bowl promotion, the Super Bowl game coming up, the Squares GAC board and the toy board. I'm telling you, look at these guys. <laughs> Shout them out. Go for it. That's outstanding. So, yeah, the Super Bowl promotion. We do have the Super Bowl squares for the GAC board and the toy board. I highly recommend. Well, geez, GACs are flying. I think there's only 40, 45 slots left on the Super Bowl squares game. So I'm telling you, there's there are definitely not very many left there. I know Jake got some. He just came up. I know I picked up some. Hell, I bought two more today because, man, there were some fires sitting on the floor. I had to grab it. Oh, not only that, this DMT got weak. I was like, I'm taking that. I need that. I need that. I, need that. I got it. So – I am in the game to win this. Jake, how are you, dude? Welcome to Monday Madness. Tell me what's good. What's on your mind? I am hyped. I mean, I heard you talking about the Gak Bowl space and all that and just, like, all the squares, and I was so hyped, dude. I was just like, sheesh, we bringing the brooms out, baby, and I had to make an entrance back in, and we swept them all up, and I can't wait for that game now because I don't I'm gonna watch football a whole bunch, but I am definitely gonna be tuned into that game with both eyes glued out of my head like I'm Patrick Starr. Bro, I I can't. Here's the thing: I don't watch the games either, and I'm a Bears fan. And the, the Bears are totally horrible, so I, we don't ever make the Super Bowl. So I, I stopped watching it way before the like the playoffs happened. But when we have squares, or I'm in like a squares game, I am on the edge of my seat. Like, don't score. Don't score. Or all I need is this. If they go again, then I start thinking all the scenarios. Okay, so if they take it, they get a safety, and then they come back, and then they get the touchdown, and they get the two-point conversion. Okay, that's how I'm going to get the number. Do you do that too? Yeah, 100%. You're, like, doing all the math out in your head. You're like, you know, so if this happens and this happens, and if they get a safety, and, like, you're thinking of all this crazy shit that would, like, never happen. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? Oh, but you know what, though? Let me tell you. There was that game earlier this year that I was in the squares and I was doing that. I was like, if they get a safety right here, that would give me my nines and stuff. And I'll be damned. They got to say it was a safety, but the refs didn't call it a safety. I couldn't believe it. And it was so clear. And uh, I was completely demoralized when I watched that. Couldn't believe it. They did you dirty, bro. Hey, I'm telling you those refs too much control over that damn game. That's all I got to say. So, Hopefully, it doesn't come down to that in the big game. But here's what I know. You can win custom PFP merch, 1,000 GP per quarter, custom PFP animations, just like that one that Deef has for her legendary. Have you seen that? That is fire, 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 right? So you can get that 100% with this board, whether it's a toy board or a gag board. And the grand prize on each, not just one, on each of those boards is an other side, other deed that is ready to go. And you can go ahead and build on it. You can slang it. You can keep it. You can put it on your wall, whatever you want to do with it. That's on you. That's why it's just one of those things. You got to do it. Hey, the easiest way, if you ask me at this point, is just go get a toy because the toys you're always in the game, no matter what, whether you burn it or not, you're in the game, you're in the game. And if anything else requires toys later, you already have a toy. So you can buy a toy or you can buy a GAC, but either way, you can get yourself on the Super Bowl squares and that will get you a shot at that other deed from Yuga Labs that we have for each one of those. So I know dude's in it and Jake's in it. Jake, how many squares do you have? I got six, dude. That's what I'm saying. I was so hyped that when you said that, I was like, say less, bro. And then, <laughs> dude, the floor was 0. 0.12. I came in and I was like, what is going on around here? I'm like, that's unacceptable. I'm like, we got to bring the fan back up to at least 0. 0.15, back towards 0. 0.2. Let's get it, baby. Had to kick off that sweet party in there. That was a good day. I think that day we did 37 GAX. We, we've been doing pretty good the last couple of days. We've been selling them. So I did buy two today. So if you guys have a shot, 
get in there and get your squares. You can get it from that. You know, it's just the way to go. I mean, and I'm still going to make my ape ride tonight too, because shout out motion who hooked me up with that badass ape ride, that golf cart. So I'm going to go pick a, you know, a gack to put on. I'm not sure what, I don't know if I want to put a or so maybe I could put a Cause here's the thing about it. You could put multiple gacks on the same one. So maybe I'll make one with the Perius. Maybe I'll make one with like, I don't know, lasers. I don't know, blue beams. Who knows? Something. Yeah, pick something with like a the opposite color background because it's a green ride. So pick maybe like, I don't know, something with like the opposite color of that that will make it like pop because the color of the background of your PFP is the background of the ride. So pick something that will like really make it pop out. That's a good idea. And you know what? Shorky likes to rock the Viking gang. And me and Shorky are already Viking riders, so I might have to have a Viking hat too. Could be a good idea. I've got a Viking spaceman. I got a Viking DMT this morning. Hey, who knows? But I'm going to figure it out. So make sure you check out your ape rides. Just a cool way to show your gack. Shout out Jake for coming up and saying, what up? It's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. All right. So this Let's see here. What is our? Oh, we didn't go over our trait of the week for this week. So last week it was the members only jacket. I know Jake got a couple of those, so he get some extra GP. And he was like, "Wait a minute, I could go." In, oh, I'm all in on that. Let me get that. Boom, and then he got extra GP. And if he had a certain rank, he even got extra from that. So he got extra, extra, extra. So I mean, it's like double my gum and double my fun right double your fun do you remember that hey i was literally dude i went to go claim my gp i put it in and i was like wait i get that much gp went back to open sea was like say less grab one more i did i grabbed three of those members jackets i was like let's go trade of the week run it back trade of the week run it back why are these on the floor what's <laughs> <laughs> I was like, now you're gonna have to pay 0.3 if you want one I was that's like, right Sorry, fellas that's the way it goes and I'm getting GP to be able to play the games, too. And we're getting GP, baby. Run it up. Run it up. That's what I'm talking about. So shout it out. That's the way to say it. That's how you do it. That's what I'm talking about. So this week, we always switch up the trait of the week. It has already been changed. So the trait of the week, and we kind of looked at the floor just to kind of say, hey, what might make everybody, you know, some extra GP and get them a shot in the squares game? And one thing that I noticed, there's a lot of purple backgrounds on the floor. So purple background is the trait of the week. So I can already count. Just let me see here. So I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There is eleven in the first six rows. So there's a lot of them there. So you guys can pick some of those bad boys. And don't forget, that also moves over to the Mutant Grandpa Country Club. So if you want to get a Mac, the one on the floor right now with the gold earring is a purple background. Just, just in case you wanted a little alpha right there. There's also a couple more there. And that will get you some extra GP. 100 GP just for buying a purple background. Not to mention, you get what you get from getting it a Mac. Or you get what you get from being a GAC. And if it's a certain rank on the GACs, you can get even more there. Talk about just handing out the GP. Come on, man. Come on, man. And if it's a GAC, you get a Super Bowl square. Oh, this is correct. You get a Super Bowl square. Man, I mean, how nice are we? I mean, that's amazing. I think that's that's a lot of reasons right there. And not only that, you get more GP for holding that. It's at the end of the month, you get more GP for the gag that you have. So, I mean, it's like it's like reasons on reasons on reasons. It's just, it's just incredible. I'm sorry. I'm just beside myself right now. Well, not really. I'm really kind of like here, but I can see that I would be beside myself. Yeah. Anyway. All right. I digress. All right. So, what else do we have to clear here? Oh, we are actually... The raffle. Yes, I didn't even go to the raffle. Hey, we should have some people in the raffle. I haven't even looked. We opened the raffle early. Did you guys realize that the raffle opened early? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm in there, baby. Let's get There's it. 37 people in the raffle already? Do you realize we barely ever open this until Mondays? But since we had Night Out on the Greens, we captured all those and said, come on. 
come and get in there. Come get involved. Let me get in here. Let me let me join the raffle myself. Oh my gack. Look at all of those great people. We got 39 people already in here. Let me see who oh, look, Illis Craze, Meg Fitz is in there. I'm trying to see if we see anybody. 12th man's in there. Look at that. MM Guru. These are all new people that have not been in here for a while. Look, I see Jake right there. Captain Soulshine showed up. Look at that. Casey, who's new in there, got in there. Look at that. We've got some people that are in there. Look, DZ just got in. Godzilla Kong just got in. Hikaru just got in. Man, we are going to have a blowout Friday night giving away stuff. Ooh-wee. I'm excited. Let's see here. Who's it? Do we even know what we're giving away yet? That's a lot of people, and we haven't even announced the prizes yet. Usually, we we do that on Monday Spaces, yeah. Yeah, so we got to tell everybody what they're going to get, right? So, here, hold on. Real Expired quick. parking tickets. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I got to take care of something real quick, because this has been bothering me since I started the space, and I just can't let this little dude be out there running around like this, because it's just... It's just not the yeah, it's not the grandpa way, man. You know what I mean? You just can't have that. So let's just fix this real quick. Boom. There you go. Don't say I didn't do nothing for you. Take care of you right there, my friend. And bam. Look at that. Now go ahead and get in there, pay for food. Get yourself a nice little raffle. Check you out. A little love right there for you. Or hey, hey, you pick your poison. I mean, you want a raffle or you want to do an NBA square, it's on you. But don't say I didn't give you enough to get in the raffle because the raffle is going to pay off this weekend. So there's your little shot right there. So for the raffle, did he get in? He's getting in right now. Okay, cool. All right. For the raffle, this – oh, he's in. Shout out, Paige. You're in there, buddy. 42 people already in the raffle. That's pretty awesome. So – We'll start right now because I don't know. I mean, do you think? I mean, what's our record, dude? Fifty-five. I think that's our record, right? It's yeah, it's in the low fifties, I think. Fifty-four, fifty-five. Okay. All right. So right now with fifty-five, then here's what we'll do. Since we do, we do for every ten participants, we put up one thing, right? So for fifty, we'll just say right now we're at forty. We'll consider that fifty. We'll count the fifty in there, right? So we're gonna give away. The first two will be a Mac, the first two drawings. And then the second two drawings will do an M1 serum for the second two drawings. And then the fifth drawing, well, that'll be the final drawing unless we get further. Hmm. The fifth drawing we will do, let me think about this. We'll do an M2. How about that? An M2 serum. And then if we happen to get that 60 number, maybe we'll do a toy. We'll see. See if we can hit it. Hey, never know, but it might be a good idea to try. So the toy. once you get the toy, you're immediately in the game. Dude, what could they win like right away? Well, right away, you're, you get a square for the Super, the Super Bowl, and you get a chance to win all kinds of amazing prizes, including the other deed. But – you would have missed out on our last contest, which was, I believe, awesome prizes and a skateboard, and you're included in the future contest. So having a toy, you're automatically in whatever toy game we ever have for, you know, from now until infinity. Correct. Correct. Couldn't have said it better. So, hey, make sure you grab that toy. But for right now, we're excited. We'll start with the Max. We'll go M1 Serums, two of those. We'll go through an M2 serum, one of those. And then after that, if we get to 60, we'll do a toy. And uh, if we get enough people in there, we might even be able to give away a GAC NFT square as well. And that might be able to get you. We've got a few of those to give away. We gave away one to Tugger, and Tugger's got his square. So if you went and looked in the GP NFT squares, Tugger was gifted a square because he won it last week on the raffle. So he got square J9. And he's going to be in the game just for buying a piece of this here raffle at 175 GP, which just, I mean, some people just got GP kicking it and they're not even using it. They're just sitting on it. They don't even know what to do with it, but now they're going to have an idea. All right. 
So let's go ahead and recap this little bad boy real quick. So Night Out on the Greens, if you have not had a chance to listen to it, go check it out. You can break it up in pieces if you want to. It was very entertaining, a lot of fun, and it'll only get better as we keep moving forward. So check that out. 220 people shuffled through the space. We're going to do that once a month, right around the 15th, second Saturday of the month, or around that area, depending on when it falls. The Decentric Degens has their cash games open. Zell, Cash App, Credit Card, Venmo, whatever. You can get in there with as little as 20 bucks. Get in there and have some fun with these guys. Make yourself a couple dollars. And then, hey, the rake back comes back to the GP. I'm sorry, to the grandpa. So we can go ahead and keep that going. We want to get that. I, I am to fault as well. I have not played enough cash games. I have money in the system, and I need to jump in there and really get it done. So I'm going to do that. We also have the GP rework that will go live Wednesday. So on Wednesday, the GP redeem room will go live. We'll have pinned messages that will show how you can automatically redeem your prizes. And then we'll get those out to you. And if anything's needed, probably like what PFP you want, maybe an address or something, we will open up a ticket with you and get you set up. But that will make sure it keeps you running total. Those will be Monday to Friday. I'm sorry, all week long redeems, but anything from them will get shipped out on Fridays. So every Friday, we'll have those going out for you guys. Don't forget about the Daily Streak Multiplier. You can get up to 17 or 18, I just found out. I'm at 15 or 16, so I'm definitely falling behind. But I'm not going to miss it. I got mine today. Make sure you're checking that out. Not only for Grandpa Points, but for Grandpa Rumbles, too. Make sure you're checking that out and your weeklies for that, too. The trait bot is in there. If you can, go to short game take a look at the google form and please fill out what traits you would like us to start start concentrating on and making a big deal your voice is heard inside those surveys so make sure you get in there and do that yak yoga will be postponed our yogi is sick but we will have a for sure next week and we'll have it figured out for you guys 25 spaces will be going into that and we'll have a flyer that goes out for that too yak lotto goes live on monday there are odds to winning. It will cost GP to get into it. And every time it starts, it'll start with 0.1 ETH. And every time nobody wins, it will be 0.1 ETH increase every single time. So this will go up every time there's a drawing and nobody wins. Hopefully somebody w does win it. They'll win merch. They'll win 0.1 ETH and all kinds of who knows what else as we move along through this. And that will be a lot of fun. So Monday you'll see that. It's going to be exciting. Also... The Super Bowl Squares game. Make sure that you're getting involved with the GAC board, the toy board, buying GACCs or buying GAC toys. You can get custom PFP merch, 1,000 GP per quarter, custom PFP animations at halftime, or you can win other side deed from Yuga Labs. So that's pretty cool. Get something cool from that. Those are going for pretty good, and they're pretty popular. Don't know if you heard about them, but if you haven't, guess what? Might want to Google it. Maybe go to YouTube. You'll find it there. We will have a vote on the kittens as per the announcement. That'll be coming out later this week as we get all of those tools put together so we can amass all of your information right up front and make sure that you guys will have that. And that will basically just say whether you want it to come out in the first quarter or not. And then we will figure out what to do after that. Lastly, we do have the trade of the week, the purple background. And you already know the raffle is live. We got Max. M1 serums, M2 serums, GAC NFT squares, and possibly a toy if we get enough participation. So that is how we did Monday Madness today. Jake, do you have any final thoughts before we close out our space? I just having good vibes over here. You know what I'm saying? We're just pushing forward in 2023, and I'm having a great time over here. Just wanted to say have a good night, everybody. Heck yeah, man. Thank you for coming up and sharing the space with us and saying hello and getting excited and sweeping with me this week. It's good to see you on Falcor right there. I'm going to make myself an ape ride tonight, too, sometime a little bit later. Dude, what's your final thoughts before we get up out of here? Oh, just thank you, fam, for being here tonight. Be sure to get your grandpa points. Be sure to get your grandpa, get your squares, your NFL. T or your uh, NFL squares and uh, yeah just en enjoy the fun and games and Friday is going to be epic so I'll see you Friday oh yeah baby we are going to be rocking on Friday we do got a space coming on Friday followed by a DJ party 
where we vibe on the greens after we give away all of our raffle stuff. Looking forward to it. It's been a great week, great weekend, and we're looking forward to another one this week. Looking forward to everything we have going. Tomorrow, we will, well, wait, we're supposed to be doing yoga. It'll be next week, Wednesday. We have, is the cooter space on Wednesday, dude? Is that when they're doing it now? Is it Wednesday? That'd be Either that'd be perfect. They move it to Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not really sure. One of those two days is going to happen, and then we'll see you again on Friday. I'm going to have to get with them to make sure we update the spaces thing because we've got them on the calendar for Tuesday, and we want to make sure we get that right. So wherever it is, we'll make an event. Make sure you guys get up in there. So, Oh, there's Shorky right there. Let's ask him real quick before we get out of here. Here he comes right now. Sorry, Sharky. We weren't sure you moved it around a few Man. times. It's Wednesday. Hey, what's up, fam? Thanks for having me up. Yeah, we're we're in the we're trying to find the perfect time for for the whole fam. So, um, I think we're gonna we're gonna try to rock um, in lines with our with our poker, stay open, you know, and um, and vibe with y'all during our our decentered DJ and mashes. And I think we're gonna try. I'm gonna have a vote for y'all probably in the in the greens. Just um. Let us know in the bucket list if you would like it on Wednesdays or Thursdays. But this week, I think we're going to keep it Thursday. We were leaning towards Wednesday, but we need y'all's help. So if you could um, hit the bucket bucket list sports um, bucket and, and and help us find a home. Wednesday or Thursday, let us know. All right. Perfect. You heard it here. That's what we're doing, guys. So you can check them out once they get it down. We'll start having that on the same time every single week. So thank you, Sharky, for coming up. Like I said, guys, it's been a great week on the Grandpa on the Grandpa Abe Country Club floors. We've been having a lot of fun. We're going to continue that all this week and continue to fill up these GAC boards. I've got a few more loads than me. I'm going to go ahead and boom, find me some snipes. Hopefully you do too. Check out those serums. They're running at a good price right now. Might be something to look at. And until then, can't wait to see everybody on the greens. Hey, Shorky, you want to tell me? (laughs) Your turn. Love you, bye.